Okay, I'm just going to show a uh, custom vanilla Unix shell that I wrote. Um, I guess I'll start from launching it. Uh, you compile it with uh, GCC since it's written in C. Um, project to shell.c, output it as p2, and then you compile it like that. And then it has all the basic vanilla Unix commands, so like we can list everything in the directory. We can show the calendar. We can show the calendar at uh, choose your birthday, um, and then you can look at the calendar. Um, it also supports um, redirecting output. So we just saved the listings to out.txt. So now, oh, it also supports Vim and Nano. So now if we open out.txt and Vim, um, we'll see uh, the output here. And then it has all the Vim macros as well. And then it, it um, buffers your output. So you don't have a ton of spam whenever you exit Vim. It just puts you right back on the terminal line. Um, we can also write some some input so if we create a file like input txt and we say like ls and then put some some arguments here then we could also map that input into our ls and then now we have a listing with those command line arguments uh, as well um, the man pages work as well you can use q to quit you can also it, all, oh, it also supports piping so if we, for example, uh, well, I'll just keep doing list because this is pretty easy. Um, and then we could pass that to a less, um, and that will give us a less version. Um, we also can do sorting, combining that with IO redirecting. So if I, um, so I just copy and paste this because I didn't, didn't want to type it, but um, we're just printfing and then nine, four, one. So it's a bunch of numbers separated by new lines and we're redirecting that to an output called nums.txt. So if we look at nums.txt, it's just a bunch of numbers. They're not sorted in any particular order. However, now if we call sort with um, G and then we call that on, I hope that I call it nums.txt. So then we get a sorted version. Um, we can actually call that same command and then do another redirection to sorted.txt, and then now we can open sorted.txt in Vim, and now we have the sorted version um, saved as well. There's also a history command. Um, so if we do ls, and then we do hyphen hyphen, or not hyphen hyphen, exclamation point, exclamation point, then it will run the same command again. It supports arguments as well. So, um, and then we run it again, then it will do, do it twice. Obviously, if you type clear and then you do it, um, your most recent command is clear itself, so this doesn't do anything in particular. Um, but yeah, that was just showing off a custom Unix shell that I wrote. Um, you can check my GitHub for the source code, I guess.